GG here. It's come to my attention that the biggest obstacle you guys need assistance with in your dating life is meeting women and getting that first date. So it's up to me to school you guys on exactly what you should be doing to step up this aspect of your game. To begin, let's look at the data. Here's a pretty recent chart showing where couples meet for the first time. It covers essentially everything I can think of. School, friends, neighbors, church, the bar, online, and family friends. What's kind of crazy though is the fact that everything is on the decline, except for online dating and bar. When I started this channel, online dating only accounted for about 30% of first contact, but by 2020, it jumped all the way up to 40%. If you think about it, it's probably even higher these days because we're all spending more and more time online. And back then, meeting at bars only accounted for like 20% of first contact, and now it's almost at 30%. This means that these two avenues alone already make up 70% of where couples are meeting for the first time. If you want to get more dates, you got to play the game. And the game these days is online dating and the nightlife scene. I'm going to give you some tips on online dating right now. And then we'll touch on the nightlife in a future video. Okay, so let's talk about the online dating game. I know a lot of guys think that online dating is rigged. That all that matters is your looks. I'll be real with y'all. Your looks do matter a lot, but it's not everything. It's kind of like advertising. If you got a good product, then for sure, it's gonna be easier to sell. But the packaging and marketing around it matters just as much. The types of pictures you have and the bio description on your dating profile is the packaging. And the thing about looks is that it's all relative. Back in the day when everyone was in decent shape and good looking, yeah, it was hard to stand out. But trust me, the majority of dudes on dating apps do not look good. And that's not because they weren't blessed by good genetics. It's because they don't work out and they don't know how to dress. Let's talk about working out. If you aren't hitting the gym on the regular, you need to stop watching dating videos and go subscribe to some fitness channels, you lazy bum. You need to be fit, not just because it makes you look better, but because it makes you stronger mentally and physically. With strength comes confidence, and ladies love confidence. Now let's talk about your fashion. I'll do another video on dressing well because there's a lot of thinking that goes into it. But here's a simple trick. Go to your local mall or shopping center and buy the entire outfit off of one of the mannequins in the store that you think looks nice. The reason I recommend doing this is because most of the time, the mannequins are dressed very well. They're what brings people into the store, you know? I've been doing this for years because my fashion sense is pretty much trash compared to most other men. And I swear to God this works. The only time I ever get compliments on my fashion is when I wear that mannequin drip. Alright, so now let's talk about getting the right photos and setting up your profile in a way that makes you stand out from the average schmuck. I'm friends with a lot of girls and they've told me that 9 out of 10 dudes on dating apps have terrible photos and lame ass bios that make them seem like another generic dude with no swagger. Women are masters of using angles and lighting to make themselves look as best as possible in their photos. Most dudes suck at this which is why I suggest hiring a professional photographer. If you can't afford to spend some money for a photographer, then we have even bigger problems on our hands. Go get a job so you have some money to invest in yourself, because that's what this is. Paying a professional photographer a hundred bucks is an investment. One of the best investments you could make, to be honest, because it can easily two to three X the amount of matches you get which saves you a lot of time. When you work with your photographer, aim to get three types of pictures. First, you're gonna want a normal, candid picture of yourself to show off your fashion. Make sure your photographer get tons of candid shots of you in your best fit throughout the day. And then, I suggest that you take what you think are the best photos and ask a female friend which one you look best in. If you don't have any female friends, you could ask us in our new Discord server, which is invite only. 
In order to join, you just gotta sign up to our mailing list and then shoot me an email. For our second photo, you're gonna wanna have an action picture. Basically, a picture of you doing something cool. Extra points if you're doing something athletic. A lot of dudes with good bodies like to do shirtless photos to try and show off their muscles, but this is actually a huge red flag for girls. They think it's lame. You wanna show off your strength in a more subtle, classy way. For example, if you're into rock climbing, you can get a nice shot of yourself hanging from one hand off the wall. This would flex all those muscles and make you look like a beast. And finally, the third type of picture you're gonna need is one where you're doing something cute or funny. If you aren't that creative, an easy picture you can go for is a picture with a dog. Don't take a picture with a cat because research shows that it actually lowers the amount of swipes you get. Now, don't just take a picture with a random dog. Try to do something interesting. Play with him and show that you can really get along with animals. If you're creative, you can come up with some interesting, funny pictures. Like, I don't know, a picture where you're sitting with a dog at a table that's set up to look like you guys are playing poker. Or a picture where you're playing tug of war with a dog but using your mouth. There are other types of pictures that you can include. I'm working on a full guide that I'll send out to everyone on my email list. So make sure you sign up for that to receive my free newsletter down the line. For your bio, you're gonna wanna keep this short and simple, preferably funny. It really helps on which dating app you're using because some apps limit the amount of words you can say, while others give you almost limitless amounts of space. For the purposes of this lesson, I'll just assume we're talking about Tinder, which gives you a decent amount of space. What I like to do is for the first line, describe myself in three words. Three words that sum up my identity. Usually something about my job and then two things that I really enjoy doing and identify with. So something like tech entrepreneur, singer, world traveler. Then in the line under, I like to add something funny like looking for someone to rob a bank with. I'll do another video that dives into this concept on a deeper level if you guys want. By upgrading your dating profile, you'll get more matches, which ultimately leads to more dates. Please let me know what you think of this new animation style and also the new writer. That's right, I'm still voicing the videos, but because I don't have much time to work on the channel, I reached out to a friend who said he was interested in helping out with the writing. Don't worry guys, because he's someone I know from my cold approach days that has exceptionally good game. So I know he can bring a lot of valuable lessons to the table. 